Innocent here, and welcome to Far Cry 4. Now, there's a few reasons why I'm playing this game. One, it's a stealth game. Two, I love the Far Cry series and Ubisoft. And three, if y'all don't know, Far Cry New Dawn is going to be com coming out February the 15th. I think it's 13th, 14th, I think it's the 15th. Yeah, the 15th. So, yeah, I want to play this game because I want to go ahead and get prepared for it. To see what it has, my has to offer, so I get a visual idea in my head of what this game um, has compared to the new one. If you want to know more about it, I'll link, I'll link the trailer in the description. If you want to go check it out, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, Far Cry 4. This game is about a man named AJ Gale or AJ Gale from Kirati. When he was three years old, he moved to um, America, which he was pretty much raised. And with his mother, Ishwari Gale. And Mohan was his father. He was like the legend of Kirati. Or like the founder of the Golden Path. Which is pretty much like a, a rebel army. And I, I don't know if he was a good guy or bad guy. But yeah, he was trying to... He wanted to um, stop Pagan Men's regime. And yeah, Pagan Men is the, um, the head of the Royal Guard and the Royal Army. He's a crazy bastard. Just gonna go ahead and let you know that. But, yeah. You, you, you take place on a bus. Um, with AJ Gale. And you're with your mother, Ishwari. And no, she's not actually there. Well, she is, but it's like, it's in a little, um, vase with her name, Ishwari Gale. Carved in it. With her ashes. And her last wish is, take me back to Lakshmana, where she was born. So here you are, AJ Gale, trying to um, cross all of um, Kirati, just to get to Lakshmana, place her ashes there, and I guess just live the rest of his life. So, that's pretty much the whole main um, story about it. I know there's probably a few more, but there's just too much stuff to talk about. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. What's happening? Get down now! 
I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus. Not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! You fucking chap, you couldn't fucking do that! At least there's a silver lining. You didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I'd recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. But I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you... If oh. food to monkeys, they just... throw their shit at each other. You know? Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to... get a little... Right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. And we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> should I stay or should I go? My congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you, somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplom. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. We'll change all that. All I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Ah. Hmm. All right. Look at this with the smile. <clears throat> that's you. That's me. Oh, I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother. Your mother, on hey. the other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. Mm. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was oof, years ago. She told me she loved me. <laughs> Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no. No, men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance has built up. So. When your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized, it's not me. No. It was the fucking golden path. 
those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's see here. Hit me. Bang. Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah. I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. Cry for help. Help. Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! From your diaphragm! Help! help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh. Find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. Wow, what a start to an intro. You just get shot on a bus, you don't know what's happening. You're just taken in by this crazy, I guess, uncle of yours? I don't know. Cousin? Father-in-law? Who knows? But yeah, he's crazy, he's taking your, um... What the fuck? He's taking, uh... Can I please talk? He... He's taking Darp... <laughs> Oh god, hang on. Look at this. Actually, let, let's rewind for a bit because I want to make sure that you know exactly what I want. Hey, this, this might take a long time, so I might not even... Do you know why you are here? They seriously can't see me? Look! I'm right here, man! Your golden pass. A terrorist. A bad guy. And I'm a good guy. Which means that I don't really want to hurt you. I only want to listen. And, you know, people tell me that I am a fantastic listener. So, if you'll just tell me who your friends are, what it is they're planning, and when it's going to happen, we can avoid them. <laughs> now, we already know you've been spying on the compound. Okay, so this, you know this is taking too long. I can't, I can't bother with this. I mean, I know there's a lot more, but... You got to look up somebody else. Ajay Gale. My name is Saban. I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? We're friends. I knew your father. We're here to rescue you, son of Mohan. What about Darban? You are our priority. We need to get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. Darban would understand. Now stay close. Shit, they know we're here. The door! Quickly! Ajay, with these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the truck. Move as fast as you can. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. One, two, three! Stay close! Hey, here we go. All right, run, Ajay. Let's go. Wait. Face forward, eyes forward, don't look at nothing. Just fa yeah, face at the truck. Don't worry about all the gunfire, otherwise it'll get you distracted and killed. See, look. I'm not even hurt. That's what you gotta do. Pay attention on your main goal. Jesus, man. I've been drinking a lot of ginger ale. What the hell? That shit's good, too. Ah, the scorpion. All right. Come on, shoot the barrel! Really, out of all of them shots, I did not even shoot it. Oh, but that time I did. <clears throat> Don't you just hate that? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to hear when you're getting freaking... When you're getting chased. It's hard to when you're in a car. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, it's really hard to, isn't it? 
He's got everybody moving all around the place. I literally hit the guy, but he's not falling off. There we go. I hit both of them. I like this music. I could just listen to this the whole time if I had to. Ooh. Take him out. No, I can't. I can't hit him. Ooh. Hey, wait. Take him out. Driver's dead. Okay, listen to me. Look around. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. You can do this, Ajay. Alright. This is where stealth comes into place, right here. You got this big ass machete knife thing. Yes, yeah, stealth fundamentals. Alright, so it's telling you to throw a rock to strat. This is a this is really essential in this game. Pretty much every time you see an enemy, you're gonna be using this, guarantee. Uh, Royal Army. Hang on. Yeah, and hide and foliage. That's very essential. Okay, come on out. We won't hurt you. I promise. Yeah, I'm gonna take him out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna leave um any bad guys behind. See, look at that. Walking, even though they don't even know if it's you, they could be a freaking... Yeah, it could be one of them. One of them. This has all been just a <laughs> you don't have to attack everybody, you see. I'm not gonna pick up their gun. Yet. Not, not just yet. No, you're pro I know what you're probably don't saying. Have to be like this. You do not have to hide. Well, in this case, ain't no point. Or there is. I know what you're probably saying. Why, why are you taking care of them? I don't, I don't want to leave no witnesses behind. I don't want to leave nobody, uh, aware of, like, what happened. Telling their freaking commanders about everything. Paying men and all that. I don't leave none of that. Alright. I could take this guy out. Yeah, see? Throw, it a throw a rock. I'm gonna throw it right here. What was that? Okay, he's gonna go walk over and look at it. And I'm going to take him out. Closer. Yeah. Jeez, all the blood. All right. You know what? Yeah, I'll pick up the gun. I'll pick it up. Okay. Yeah, you can go underwater or hide from enemies to become undetected. Yeah, it doesn't matter how far or low you are, they will not see you underwater, unless you're, like, extremely close to them. But yeah, when you fall, falls in water cannot hurt you, don't matter how high you are. Is that guy pissing? My god, he is. Wait. Hurry! One kick, that guy too. Heck yeah. See what I mean? Leave nobody left alive. And I'm a bit of a completionist, just in case if you if you want to know that. I like to get everything I get. I, I want to pick clean the whole area. Okay, so get bait from um, animals to skin. It's like you throw you throw a piece of meat. You can lure predators in, and yet they'll attack enemies. It it depends on where you throw it, but it'll, it'll get them either way. It don't really matter where you throw it, but. Yeah. Okay, let's keep progressing. Okay, there's a barrel up here, or a goat. Piss off. Okay, skin. So yeah, here are more enemies. Now, 
Wait, equipped it. How you equipped it is, you gotta press L1. I'm playing this on PS4, so yeah. Yours might be a little different. Where are you hiding? Coward! Alright, wait for- wait for- sounds like a bear. And just let the- let it do the There's killing for me. Whoa, whoa! Don't pay attention to me, pay attention on the bear! I can't- I got that guy to worry about, that's why I'm not- Look! Don't have to do anything. Get him! Hurt! Don't run away! Thank you. Alright. Now I gotta take this bear out. I could just let him be, but... Like I said... I'm a completionist. Skin the bear. I bet you get some good meat from this. Tell me. Yeah, I bet it's disgusting too, because there's a bunch of meat in there. I know looting their bodies. Probably just a, it's it's just a bunch of items, and they're not really, you know, worth getting. I mean, money is. I mean, you can get items, go them in so stores, sell them, and yeah, you can or you can trade them and get money for them. Okay, so here's a um uh what are those things called? Uh, armored suit, or armor, flat jacket, yeah, flat jacket. Okay, so I picked up a throwing knife. Equip that. Okay, it goes silent. Now look, you got the camera, totally forgot about that. Yeah, the camera is very essential in this game. Yeah, camera, I know, I know. Okay, I know there's someone down here. Yep. Yeah, that guy never moves unless you throw a rock or something, which I'm getting ready to do right now. God, man. Freaking chill out. What was that? Acting like somebody was damn... Jesus. I mean, you don't get that damn height just for one little sound. Whoa, I'm amazed he didn't hear that. Gotcha. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna let that freaking, uh... Snow Leopard out. So I'm gonna equip this. Throw it. Ooh, I gotta get to a distance. It's gonna attack me, too. It's gonna attack me as well. Damn! Get him! Stop worrying about that guy! Oh, there was, oh, there was one over there. I didn't even know there was. Come on! Heck yeah. Get the other guy. Ah, uh, killed him. Bastard. Alright. Okay, now skin the leopard. Because trust me, you ain't gonna be seeing these for a while. Yeah, unless it's like a lot of snow, you ain't gonna be seeing them. Trust me. Oh, wait. What? what? Oh, yeah, it's just some notes. Some of these notes are really pointless, but if you want to read, you can. Okay. Long live King Min. Pagan Min. Reload. Alright. Now we're getting ready to get a message from him. And get ready to say how proud of us... Or how proud he is of me for not listening to him. Andre, my boy, are you busy? You don't mind me calling, do you? Fantastic. You really are an excellent listener. Look, no hard feelings about the crab rangoon. I know it's not to everyone's taste. But you'll be pleased to know I had the chef executed for his incompetence. Or was it his family we killed? <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, next time I can promise you a better spread. That's the last time I'm kidnapping a fucking TV celebrity chef. Ah. Celebrity chef? Who is that? Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. You wanna know anything, everything about culinary? Go meet Chef Gordon Ramsay. Never met it myself, but... The guy can be a... The guy can be a dick sometimes. If you watch Hell's Kitchen, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Almost fell on me. Okay, 
Cross the gap. I know you can jump there, but I'm gonna go this way. Make it a little tougher on myself. Jump! Okay. Woo, this, this don't look stable. Easy. Wow, I like you just walking across it with no, no freaking harm. See, look. I'm running across it. Not, not even caring about my safety. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Go ahead and do my thing. Uh... Hello? <laughs> so, yeah, this is when you start to learn about grappling. Now, yeah, you see, press square. This isn't actually the method of doing it, but... Later on, we will get a grappling hook, and you can actually throw it onto those. And... Yeah, you will be able to climb heights. Alright. Ooh, snow. I love snow. Love it so much. Especially when I was a kid. Jesus Christ, I have good memories from that. Okay, so make your way to the bell tower. Now look at this. Check that out. Who does that look like? Well, we'll find out. It's okay, this guy. It. Sabal. Job, son of Mohan. Why are you guys helping me? You're the son of Mohan Kali. You may not know it, but that name carries a lot of weight in the Kirat, Especially for the Golden Bar. Are those army guys still looking for me? Pagan men will stop at nothing to get you back. Damn. Some of Pagan's men managed to track us. They'll be here any second. We're in for a fight. Alright. Yeah, now what I just picked up here, you see those little um, medical symbols? I got two of them. Here what that does is, when you get hit or shot at, you can get like a syringe to um, inject in your arm and it will give you full health. Or if if you get a skill, I mean, right now it'll, it'll heal your whole health. But I think later on as you progress, you'll have like a, a health bar. Which, yeah, the more you gain, the more, uh, I guess, syringes. But it's probably not going to heal up all the way. The maximum you can gain is six. So, yeah. Okay, now what we got to do is we got to take care of these Royal Army soldiers in the snow coats. Ah! Hurry up, reload. Got these guys shooting at me. That's like the worst, worst feeling ever. It's kind of hard to see them because they got coats on. But it's such a great shot, though. With my aim, yeah, nothing's going to be a problem for me. Like that right there. Okay. Haven't taken any damage yet, which is good. Hope I can keep it that way. God, come out. Okay, throw it. Oh, wait. Yeah, the, the, the gun kind of um goes all over the place. Like it, like, you see how it shakes a little bit? That's the part that gets on my nerves about this gun. The swaying, or the, um, the reduce, um, shotness. What? See, like, you see how it, it goes, it moves around every time you shoot it? That's very, very frustrating, especially from long range. Because, well, it can... It can pull your aim off guard. Alright, hang on. Avalanche, oh shit. I'm about to get freaking bombarded with blizzards. About to be a snowstorm. Prepare yourself. Tough man to kill, brother. That's a good thing, right? Prologue complete.
How did you know to find me? He saw Pagan's chopper nearby. He's never down this far south, and I wanted to know why. Lucky for you, we were in the area when we got Darpan's text. <sighs> well, we're here. Welcome to Banapur, home of the Golden Path. Who's this? Where's Darpan? He didn't make it. This is Ajay Gale, Mohan's son. Let me understand. Darpan's dead? Hmm? And you brought me this? I'm not involved in, in whatever this is. I'm just looking for Lakshmana. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him there? I'm sorry, brother. Amita's a little touchy. I'll talk to her. As for Lakshmana, it sounds like it could be a temple or shrine. But if that's the case, it's in the north. The north is enemy territory, and we can't get you there, not yet. Go and clear your head. Come find me when you're ready. Hmm? All right, so here we are, Bonapur, Bonap, Bonapur. But oh wait, you see that? You see this little icon down at the bottom? This little wrench symbol? Yeah, it pretty much what it just showed me. Now that you have two barrel skins, you can craft them, which gets what gets you um you can add more money to your uh wallet. Now what you can see down there, we need a some Makakwa skin. I think that's how you say it. It's pretty much just a monkey. Yeah, weapon holster, Tibetan wolf, uh loot bag, Samber, which is a deer, syringe kit, wild boar, bait bag, a dole, ammo bag, wild boar. Throw bag, yak skin, explosive bag, Asian rhino skin, bingo tiger for heavy ammo, and pig skin for quiver. But I'll save that in the next video. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next video for where we talk to Amita, Sabal, get missions off them, and hopefully find Lakshmana and deal with pagan men. So I'll see y'all then. Ina's out.